Hey, what is up guys? Mr. Richie Rich here with a game that I don't think I've ever covered on the channel before, which is Fallout 76. If you haven't been following 76 recently, or at all for that matter, then you might not have known that on September 13th, Bethesda released the Pit DLC for 76. Initially, I had heard that the Pit was coming to 76 a long time ago and was pretty hyped. But it has been such a long time that I completely forgot that it was coming in the first place until the day of when I heard the announcement trailer. So on day one, I played it and recorded it so I could give my general first thoughts in a small video. Starting off, I want to say that I only played the Union Dues Expedition, so I have no real knowledge on the other expedition that is currently in the game, so yeah. Oh, I forgot. Expeditions. When you open the map for the first time, after installing the update, you'll see an icon that can be toggled by pressing R. After doing so, it'll show you the two expeditions that are available to you at the start of the game along with something about ultrasight batteries. Both of these topics will be explained during the story, so let's go ahead and continue with the option that says travel to White Spring Refuge. A beautiful country club has replaced the old dilapidated country club where ghouls and robots ruled. Upon entering, you'll meet the character Orlando, who will explain the gist of the DLC. So, as they so delightfully explain, the refugee is a base where the responders house refugees from both Appalachia and the pit. According to Orlando, the responders are working with a group named the Union to take back control of Pittsburgh from a raider group named the Fanatics. As it so happens, the Union is looking for mercenaries to enter the pit via a responder's vertebrate and help a local operative undermine Fanatic groups in the area. That is the main story of the DLC crammed into one paragraph. A lot of new information about the pit is thrown through the dialogue options, but we will not be covering that today. As stated, we need to go via Vertibird on our expeditions to the pit, but we cannot go right away as we need fuel. Orlando explains that our mode of transportation uses a ultrasight battery cell to travel, which the responders coincidentally have. In order to obtain ultrasight battery cell charges, we need to do daily refuge quests. Now some people might groan from just hearing this, but I can assure you, these quests are super easy and can be sped through if one is high leveled. The first quest required me to make stew for representatives of Appalachia. It wasn't that tough, but it had a timer on it. The second quest required me to go to a location, read a terminal, and pick up medical supplies for the responders. The last was simply to donate 50 steel scrap. They were all fairly easy and gave decent payouts, though I cannot say whether or not these tasks get harder with each subsequent expedition. After receiving ultrasight charges from the quest givers, I spoke to Skippy Rorich, a member of the union, to get an idea of what is happening in the pit. After telling me the story and getting a go-ahead from the leader of the refuge, I was free to go on my expedition. At the pit, there is essentially a small world where you could somewhat explore and do the mission at hand. You also have optional objectives that you can do that will benefit your overall pay at the end of the expedition. For Union dues, I placed a transmitter in the Fanatic Depot, sabotaged their operation at the Foundry, and defended the Union from Trogs. After completing the expedition, you get a payout based on what objectives you completed during the journey and leave back to Appalachia. I know I grossly oversummarized the premise of the DLC, but I honestly had a good time with the first expedition. After seeing the format of how the DLC worked, I compared it to a less egregious and fairer version of GTA's heists. As for the story, the writing felt pretty good actually. I found the story and lore enjoyable, which is one of the few times I got sucked into 76's lore. 
I like the idea of the responders helping the Union take back Pittsburgh and found the fanatics pretty interesting in aesthetic and design. First seeing the pit brought me nostalgia with how accurately the pit's atmosphere was captured in Fallout 76. There were some parts that I did find weak though. I felt that the mission structure was very generic and uninspired like that of Fallout 4. I also felt that despite their design, the fanatics didn't really catch my attention. For now at least. At first glance, it doesn't look like there is much depth to the pit DLC as I first thought. There are only two expeditions at the time of writing, though I do feel that they are building to something bigger with the fanatics in the pit in the future. In all, I think for what little we have right now, it feels solid. I do however feel a little disappointed with how little we have so far when the pit has been in development for a long time. I can only say that I am looking forward to what comes next in this DLC. That is, if there is anything coming. <laughs>